good morning you guys it is 5 23 in the morning and uh, i'm on my way to destin florida let's get over here in this orlando lane now a little heads up i am making a eight hour and roughly 30 minute drive with having to stop for gas that is probably going to be right at eight hours and 30 minutes so let's get to it i got a long long stretch ahead of me so see y'all soon i'm gonna focus on this road and try to burn up this highway as quick as i can and as safe as i can so yeah i'll see y'all once the sun comes up Hey y'all, trying to focus my camera and smacking and eating. I just stopped for gas. I need to get right back on the road, like right now, before I get too far off of timing with my timing. Um, hold on. Hopefully this doesn't come off. Yeah, this gonna come off. So now I need a new suction cup thing for my phone. That shit fell off. I'm eating Chick-fil-A. Arrival time is 12.35. I should not have to stop again for gas, but once I get there, I will need gas again. But before then, I won't have to stop. I'm passing like Ocala city limits. I don't know if y'all know what that is or not. It's maybe like an hour outside of Orlando, north of Orlando. So the next city limits, that I'm going to be passing is Gainesville and then like Tallahassee and then I should be like on a home straight road to Destin, Florida. So yeah, yeah, I'm doing good, doing good timing. Traffic is definitely picked up, but um, other than that, ain't nothing to a giant. It's just crumbs to a giant. I gotta pay. I gotta focus on the road, y'all. Let me get off here. Hair is still wrapped up, very much so. Uh, so yeah, I check in back with y'all later. I got jelly all in my mouth. Lord have mercy. check in finally uh it's 3 34 check in isn't until four o'clock which is hella late especially for anybody that's on vacation that's extremely late that's like half the day is gone let me try to get this light back right so i'll let y'all know when we checked into the room smash the thumbs up button if y'all enjoying this vlog and click the subscribe button. Please and thank you. Peace out. Hey y'all, so I just checked into the Airbnb down here in the hotel lobby, right? And originally we were only allowed two parking tickets. It's three cars. So the front desk uh, young lady, she was like, you know what? I'm gonna give y'all three, but I'm gonna tell my sister and my cousin one of them got to choose who gonna get the parking ticket and who got to park. Like, there's no way that you can pay for parking. But then I'm gonna be like, I'm playing. <laughs> They're gonna be 
like, you're so corny. <laughs> you think? But I'm happy that we are all checked in, honey, because it's hot out here. And I'm ready to get in the pool. Like, <sighs> but let's see how this goes. I don't know if everybody's part by each other. Um, but we'll see. I got the hotel keys. They did give us two of those, for real. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, anywho. Let's see how this is about to go. I gotta get my poker face on. <sighs> Y'all, they only gave us two parking tickets. I gotta see where they get. Showtime. So they only gave us two parking tickets and they said that there's nowhere on like on here that you can pay to park because it's like a popular weekend or something going on right now. So Kiera said if you stay right there, will that be okay? But it says guest parking for, for the, the for the restaurant, right. So we don't have to get down to the bottom of this. So one of y'all, I don't know who, but somebody gonna have to probably park, I don't know, but maybe away from the hotel. Well, Key, y'all put y'all stuff in my car and we park in the parking garage, right? Yeah. Key, you want to put your stuff in my car so then we can go up and then figure out where to put your car? Yeah. Okay, well y'all come on over here. <laughs> I'm just playing. We all got parking tickets. Oh, How many parking bags? Yeah, he's... I'm just saying. <laughs> I was just trying to handle that all cool and collective. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of y'all. We all got parking things. I was just playing. Oh <laughs> I was recording the whole time. I'm proud of y'all. Ready for us to complain. Woo! We made it to our Airbnb, child. Let me tell y'all. Woo! We made it. You know, I got to give y'all a little tour right quick. AC unit. Let's see, let's see what we got. Washing machine and dryer, like bing, boom, bow. Rule number one, is this rule number one? No, it is all the cleaning supplies. So thankful that they have a fresh supply of so many cleaning products. This is the living room. Everybody say hey when you see the camera. Look at, look at Barbara Fine in her room. <laughs> we got the kitchen right here. It's looking real nice and full. This kitchen is bigger than my kitchen. That's all I gotta say. Much bigger. So that is our view. That's gonna come later. Room number one. Beautiful. Whew, nice. Nice little stand up shower. I'm going kind of fast, y'all, because I'm extremely hot. It was a trek getting up. <laughs> these floors I'm just gonna say that but we made it yeah everybody watch y'all step when y'all coming in and leaving out okay the pool why would I expect for it to be anything less but packed it is packed with all types of bodies little bodies big bodies small bodies fit bodies plump bodies and traffic this is a beautiful, beautiful setting that we have here. Beautiful. Y'all already know, this gotta be my thumbnail. Let me go ahead and give me a little cute thumbnail right quick. Like, like, like that. Boom. All right. Other room is right here. Can I get a little knock knock? Is anybody home? Ooh, we need some elbow grease. Watch y'all step coming in and Look leaving at how out. Bad. How Girl, made. this bed. People, this was not made up. Uh, don't include this in the vlog. Oh no, we definitely are because we're gonna have something to say about that. Look at these sheets. Yeah. Dirty sheets. And I mean, this is how the bed was. Exactly y'all didn't touch it at all. Mm -hmm. Well, that is definitely so unsatisfactory. It's extremely disappointing. We will have something to say about that to Airbnb and to the host of this Airbnb. Yeah, 
Now that's going to make me extra cautious about everything in this Airbnb. You know what? Camera got to go off. What's going on, you guys? I am down at the pool with my family. Y'all already know I'm out here taking some pictures, flicking it up by the pool. Y'all already know me. I'm about to serve it to y'all on the gram. Serving looks real hard and everybody looking real hard. So I hope they take a picture. It's gonna last longer. That's my cousin. I'm about to take some pictures of her. Bam! last night definitely had to uh, put some sheets down and I got my own pillow thank goodness we are getting ready to get up and go to brunch I just ironed this black dress the same one that I wore to dinner uh, in the Bahamas but y'all it's time for me to get cute and pretty and um, using my facial oil and um, yeah, I'll see y'all when we all dressed and ready because I don't want to be the last one ready, okay? I'm going to get y'all to uh, walk up in my pelvic area, like my groin. My groin area is extremely uh, irritating right now. I don't know why I felt it before, uh, like a couple months ago, and it had went away. I don't know what I'm actually doing to cause that to feel like that. Maybe because I just started running out, or running and working out again. So, if that is the culprit. Ah, got fuzzy. If that is the culprit of why I'm feeling that discomfort right there, then that makes sense. keeps getting foggy outside let me show y'all how big this balcony is though that's one room that's the living room and that's the other room oh my god I'm over this camera and it's getting foggy okay see y'all
lost my life. So my cousin, my sister, and myself went to like a little beach store down the street to go get snorkeling stuff. Yeah, I know I got my own snorkeling gear, but I left it in the hotel. So my sister got me some snorkeling gear, like a little goggle set and like snorkeling mouthpiece. Thankful, thankful, because I was not paying for it. Um, and we stopped and got us like some little frozen drinks along the way as well. Cause your girl is about to get in the water. I'm about to get this hair wet and stuff, but I gotta take some pictures before I do that. Somebody definitely just got married though. It's adorable. An adventurous day at the beach. We've had hair. I'm not even gonna talk about this hair. Anyways, how are y'all doing? <laughs> I am tanned beyond what I could imagine to get tan, and I love tanning. So I love that I've gotten tanned. Um, I am waiting to take a shower. Hair is still looking cute in a way. But I'm definitely about to wash this once I get in the shower. My clip-in is literally about to fall out, honey. I am having such a good time on my trip. Right now, I'm about to take these out as I wait to get in the shower. But, um, yeah, today was super fun and relaxing. And just, like, an overall good time. What time is it? It's 5.25, so we was literally at the beach from like, I want to say from like 10.30 to like 5, 5 o'clock, um, which is really good. That's a really long time. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I didn't bring my GoPro camera, so I didn't have any like underwater footage for y'all this trip. It was a couple little fish, but... Nothing like like that, like that. So y'all ain't miss much. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm just waiting to get in the shower and taking these clippings out because I need to wash my hair. Um, yeah. Y'all are enjoying the vlog so far, and if you have made it this far, I appreciate it. I love you. Thank you for watching. Comment pound dope and. Let me know if y'all want me to drop another travel vlog. I'm actually going somewhere next weekend. I don't know if I'm going to be filming again just because there's going to be so much going on. I don't know if I want like that headache of trying to keep up with the video. So, yeah. Let me know though. Y'all let me know. I see what I can muscle out and do for y'all. Everybody. It is Sunday morning and it's 4.13. I am on my way home. I have a very uh, hefty 8 hour and 30 minute drive ahead of me and an extremely busy week. I don't know if $30 is going to fit in here. Um, I might have put too much gas in the car. Yeah. I'm going to try to squeeze the rest in here, but I don't know if it's going to work. Because it's at 2570 26 Ah! My camera got frizzy. What's going on, you guys? I just stopped. The greatest benefit to giving is you get more than you give. And the gas thing stop is commercial. Alrighty, you guys. So I had stopped for a very, very, very brief second because I was holding my pee for a she while. Like that. That. She, she wants to be called princess. I, I had stopped for a while and uh, to pee 
and I thought why not just go ahead and gas back up again uh, so I don't have to do it later and that's what I did uh, so yeah I'm gassing up well I gassed up and getting back on the road I am I think I'm supposed to be going this way yeah I was gonna say, hold up, better get on the highway the wrong way and be looking simple. But yeah, so back on the road again. And I, um, the time zone has switched back. It probably switched back maybe like an hour and a half ago, maybe an hour and 45 minutes ago. Uh, so yeah, I'm back in Eastern time zone. I have 363 miles to go. So, in 13 miles until I have to get back on 75. And then 75 is like a straight shot home. Because uh, right now I'm on highway like 10, I 10 east. So, yeah driving if I do stop again y'all already know I will come back up here and let y'all know it's pretty much the stretch of driving home pretty much it's not the most exciting part of the vlog but I appreciate everybody that's watching it and still watching it if you have not press the thumbs up button make sure you do that right now and I oh well let me tell y'all about this podcast that I'm currently listening to I had started listening to it maybe like last no well since it's sunday earlier this week probably like monday or something like that and um it's by olani and her girlfriends basically and it's called the laid bear podcast they are based out of the uk and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably follow her a lot of my ladies follow her either on twitter on um instagram i know the partners that she works with and does her podcast with uh her friends sj and scotty funny as hell real is so relatable and it is very very entertaining and a very great um option to listen to while I'm doing this long ass drive other than just listening to music. So yeah, I'm on it, I love it. I'm starting, oh I started all the way from episode one and they have like, I think like 90, well I don't wanna say 90, but they got a lot of episodes up here. It started in 2018. So yeah, I got a lot of catching up to do. So yeah, I'm listening to it, I'm on the third episode. And I think y'all should check it out. Once again, her podcast is Laid Bear. Laid Bear. I'll put that up here somewhere. So, yeah. I'll talk to y'all later.